My daughter and son-in-law have been looking for another quad. They've already got one, but they wanted a little bit smaller one for her to run around on their land. Didn't need to be four-wheel drive, so they asked if I could help them track one down. So I found this one. It's a 1992 Kawasaki Bayou 220. It's two-wheel drive. So it needs a few things. I've got a short punch list here, so let's get going on this thing. Okay, so the engine and transmission are in really good shape on this thing. Let me start it up. And you can hear, I can use a pull start for this. Nice and smooth, no funny noises. But pull starting is not the way to go with this, so we for sure are going to get that starter working. But I think we got a really good starting point for this thing. I didn't even have to choke it, and it's stone cold this morning. So what I'm going to do, I'm still waiting for parts, but while I'm waiting for parts, I can start taking some things apart, tearing some things down, having them ready to go. Okay, so let's run the list down here of what it needs. Uh, the first thing, and probably the biggest item on the list, is the starter. Now the starter itself works. It's brand new. Uh, that's what the seller told me, and I actually pulled the starter off and tested it, and it does turn. Uh, unfortunately, it's not engaging the engine, and I checked a little closer, and it looks like there's a starter clutch down behind that cover where you see the pull start. So that's going to need attention. Uh, one of the other things that you'll notice if you take a look at the rake of this thing is a little funky. That's because these rear tires here are about three inches too large in diameter, in the outside diameter. So I'm going to I'm going to get different tires on there. Uh, back, these are 25s. Um, it should have about a 22 inch on there. So I'm going to put a fresh set of tires on the back so the thing sits right and rides right. Um, overall, it's, you know, most of the plastic is in really good shape. It is missing the taillights. And factory taillights are ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to Basically, just cobble in some universal tail lights. I'll have to do a little bit of work to adapt them to these openings, but it should be no big deal. So we'll get those tail lights in. Um, I am missing, there's a trunk right here in the back of this. I'm missing the lid. Unfortunately, those lids, again, if you can find them, are really expensive. So if anybody knows of a good source for that trunk lid for a Kawasaki Bayou, let me know. Um, the other thing I want to do is pull the cargo racks off, both the rear and the front. They're a little bent up, scratched up, dinged up, and just straighten them out and put a fresh coat of paint on those so they look nice. Let's see what else. Uh, this is the gas gauge. It's pretty much unreadable, and they're pretty cheap, so I'm gonna gonna replace that gas gauge. So we'll get that freshened up. Uh, you never know how long it's been since an oil change, so I will change the oil on it, and I'll put in a new air filter. And I think that's pretty much it.
got four different pieces here of this rack system. This is the support brace for the rear rack. That's in nice shape. That just needs to be cleaned up and painted. This is the rear rack. And you can see we got a little bit of a swale there as well as a little problem there. This side doesn't look too bad, but you can see, I think it's that middle piece that needs to come down. And then on this side, she's tweaked a little too. So that one needs a little bit of help. It's not that bad though. Now on this piece, here's the horizontal part of the rack. This side is good. You can see that side is tipped down, so I need to straighten that one out. And then the front guard is probably the worst of all. It's supposed to look like this, nice and straight all the way across. When you get to this side, you can see they must have, must have hit a tree or who knows what, but they've bent this down quite a bit. So I will gently work on getting those bent back into shape. solenoid in while we wait for the paint to dry on the racks. Okay, let's get going on that starter clutch. First thing I need to do is get this recoil starter off to get access.
Okay, I got the flywheel off and when I took it off these two pieces fell out. So I'm pretty sure this was my problem. Now, I might be able to just put them back in with the spring but not knowing what I was in for, I went ahead and ordered a new clutch uh, for the starter. This clutch was about $35. So let's, let's take a look at this. So this, this is what it's supposed to look like. And we'll flip it over and see that we're missing just one of these pieces here. But this is, this is the new one. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, everything appears to be there. It's just, for whatever reason, it looks like it got popped out of position. Just for fun, let's see if we can put it back together. There's one. Come on. Okay. Okay, I probably could get by with just putting this back in, but since I have a new part, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. I will hang on to this though. I'll tighten those up in a second here and we'll run back and throw this thing back on. Okay, I got it put back together. Let's give it a shot. Let's get going on these tail lights next. I took a couple of pieces of stainless that I had. I think this is stainless anyway. I just cut them out to fit as backers because the lights I bought are a little bit smaller than this opening. 
So I'm going to use these as backers. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll start on this side. I'm going to get this lined up exactly in the middle and square. And just mark those.
Okay, I thought I was done, but I just noticed one more thing. So I was riding it around with shorts on just to make sure everything was working right. And all of a sudden my legs started getting real warm. I looked and I noticed that this heat shield is missing here. It's got a couple of mount points, but it's missing. So I looked this up online. It's uh, out of stock in just about every place I looked. And I did find one on eBay and they wanted uh, probably was shipping about 50 bucks and I said that's not going to happen. So that's what I did instead. I grabbed a sheet of metal. It's pretty thick stuff. And uh, this is, once again, if you've seen some of my other videos, salvaged from an old treadmill part of that. So nice piece of metal for that. So this piece will go right there. The only thing I need to do before I can mount this is a couple things. Number one, I need to put some spacers because it almost touches right in the middle there. And I'm not a hoarder, but I hang on to stuff. And I, I hung on to these a while ago. I don't remember where I found them, but I thought if I ever need a spacer or something like this, it'd be nice to have these. As it turns out, these are exactly the right size to go on there, the right spacing. All I need to do is weld those in. So I'm going to weld these in. And the only thing I'm going to spend money on is some high heat paint. So I'll go pick up some, just some black, probably flat back black high temp paint and shoot this with paint. Put a couple bolts on and just bolt that in. All right, I got a fresh coat of high heat paint on the shield. Sprayed up my hardware and we're set to go. All right, that's about it. I've fixed everything that I could see that needed attention. I'm gonna hang on to it for the next couple of weeks just to shake it down and make sure everything else is working right. And then we'll deliver it to my daughter. The size of this thing is perfect for her. It should be reliable and work out great for her. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.